Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to show you the payment function today. I've made a little template here that lets you put in the variables of the payment function. What this does is calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and constant interest rate, aka a mortgage payment. So what I've done here, the top three variables there, interest, years, and values, are put in and then I'm making five more variables here that convert it into the format that the function needs to operate. So for example rate is the interest rate but divided by 12 for a monthly interest rate and the number of periods is the number of years times 12. Then I'm going to put in payment and it follows by the rate comma the number of periods comma the present value comma future value comma type and what we get is the amount owed per period as a negative value so if we multiply by negative one it will convert it to a positive value and let's make this a little bigger now that's pretty cool but let's add some more features uh, right now you can change the interest rate the years and the value of the loan and it'll tell you the monthly payment but let's uh, let's see what the total payments over the life of the loan and the total interest over the life of the loan looks like by creating some more uh, output from this. Total payments, total interest. So total payments will just be the each payment times the number of periods and the total interest will be the total payment minus the present value of the loan. And why is this useful? Well, when you get a loan, there are many different variables, including interest rate, years, and the value. Uh, the value can change if the loan origination fees are different, if you pay points in order to change the interest rate, etc. So you may want to compare two different loans and see the difference. So we'll also add a third column here, third row, and it will show the gap between option one and option two. And then you can play around with the template and just change the interest rate years and value of the option one and option two and see what the gap is. And we are looking at some significant differences here. So just for example, a 3%, $500,000 loan between 30-year or 10-year, that's $179,522 difference in interest that you're going to pay less on the 10-year loan. Uh, that's, that's nothing to uh, scoff at there. You compare 3.125 to 3%, you see $12,000 difference there, 15-year compared to 30-year. $144,000 difference, 5% 10-year compared to a 2% 30-year difference, 1% 30-year compared to 5% 10-year, whatever, $425,000 loan, 4%, 15-year, $425,000, 5%, $88,000 difference. Well, anyway, you guys get the idea. So, hope you liked the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you have time, check out some of my other videos. And uh, feel free to message me if you have any questions that come up when you're trying out this project. All right, bye.